So the basics of cutting and bulking all come down to this one thing, calories. Now, when I was younger, I didn't know this. I believed that if I truly ran my ass off and lifted whatever I could lift, I'll lose the belly fat and still be able to eat whatever I wanted. Very wrong. Now, could I have lost belly fat? Yes, I was exercising after all, but I was not watching my diet. And for real results, those two things have to go hand in hand. Fast forward a few years later, me and Adrian were discussing actually starting our bulk and cut cycle and figuring out how to approach it efficiently in something we call modes. But before we got into those two modes, we needed to understand what our calorie maintenance levels were. It's fairly simple to figure out. We use CalorieCalculator.com and it provided us with a general calorie range for us to stay under in order to lose weight and over in order to gain weight. Once we got those numbers, it was time to get into the first of the two modes, cutting. Our gym sessions were tailored more towards the cardio side of things with an emphasis on a consistent heart rate, while making sure to throw around the weights two to four times a week so we could keep whatever muscle mass we already had. That means four to five days in the gym per week, either walking uphill, biking, Stairmaster, or elliptical. Once we established that's what our gym cycle will be for the next six months, we focused on our diet. This meant easily tracking our meals throughout the day with MyFitnessPal, one of the best apps we have ever used when it comes to logging our meals. And there's an insanely large database of foods on the app, so there's a very slim chance you won't find whatever's on your plate. The goal here was to stay under the maintenance levels of calories previously given to us by the calculator. Consistently doing that every day added up to every week, which ended up sort of a lifestyle that helped us shed the fat that we wanted to lose. Now the second mode we got into for the other half of the year was the bulk. Now this is targeted towards gaining muscle underneath the fat you already have. We lifted like meatheads for the duration of those six months, carefully making sure to sprinkle in cardio two or three days out of those six months. But in all seriousness, we did 30 minutes of cardio a week to make sure we were not becoming actual meatheads. That means pushing as much weight as we can and implementing progressive overload to increase our lifts week by week. And on a side note, progressive overload is, in simple terms is tracking how much you lift every week for an exercise and adding weight to it the next time you hit it, whether it's two and a half pounds or 10 pounds. And on the diet side of things, we did a calorie surplus of three to 500 instead of a deficit over our maintenance calories and made sure we ate one gram of protein for every pound of body weight we want to finish the bulk at. For example, I'm 160. I want to be 190. I will eat 190 grams of protein as well as 2,800 calories, which is 300 over my maintenance level of 2,500 from the calorie calculator until the bulk is done. We're also upping the carbs for a more abundant energy source along with the protein. And that's how me and Adrian learned to bulk and cut and it ended up becoming one of the pillars that hold up our fitness journey. And that does not end till we do. BTB, 100 reps, hope you learned something. Hope we were able to pass some type of knowledge. Take care, brush your hair. Peace. See you later.